I call it story mapping idea. Have you done much of that in school? So Pi Corbett's like done a lot of like sort of training around teaching um, speech and language and literacy in schools. And he uses this idea called story maps where you take a story and then the children then like you then use images to sort of retell the story. I've not done that side of the training. I've just seen it in schools and go, wow, this is a great way of looking at graphic scores and scoring out ideas. I'll show you it. Now on here an example and we can maybe try and uh, draw one out. Idea. So that's the way back home by Oliver yeah. Jeffers. Yeah. So basically it's just retelling a story through a, a set of images. And then what's beautiful is as a musician, when we're looking at music, we then recreate each of those images through our instruments. So what I would do is we've got all of it and I would show kids I would like demonstrate what each of them sounds like. So we've got shakers, we've got a whole mix of things. And what we're going to do is let's just take this top sequence, which is so we've got a picture of a little person, and it, the person's going, walking towards a cupboard, and he's exploring through the cupboard to find his. Uh, his aeroplane, uh, finds his aeroplane, and then he's going on a journey to the moon. First image, we've got the little boy. What would you, what would you choose here out of these sounds that you can see, or what would you be? What would you uh, for the for the boy is your first sound? Could you just have that one because he's like um, running towards the door, so he's excited, so it would. Which one? The one that you just held it first. This one? Yeah. Oh, do you want to play it? I don't know, just like you... you oh, get brilliant. Excited. Okay, hang on to that. Okay. Uh, so then he's... So this is his cupboard, his toy cupboard, which is a mess. There's loads of stuff inside it, and he's rummaging through everything. So what would we have for that? And that <coughs> tubular one, like, sort of for echoes of the... It's a practice one. Uh, Could you sweep up and down the design Right, so we want to go with the Sorry, I messed up there, didn't I, by giving you a glock and a because... Yeah, symbols. I would say that would say you can have some like crashes. Just that now. Yeah, just that, yeah. have to... Anything else for rummaging? Oh, oh, oh you could, yeah. I could say a massive drum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a massive drum. <laughs> I know you want that one. The kid, well, as soon as you put a massive drum in, the kids want that for every single idea. We we'll just have the massive drum so all the way through. Alright, let's just have that sequence again. So we'll have this one first. Then in the cupboards. Oh, we need more of them. Shooting, shooting noise. I like propellers. Oh, yeah. propellers. Yeah. I need a rumble of the engine. Could that be a rumble of the engine? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll have that as a rumble of the engine. Of it. Right, great. And then for getting higher, what would you suggest we do and think about the Dal Crow's ideas we're talking about in terms of getting higher? So we could add, we've got the, we could be going from one note at a time on, on the glockenspiel and on the xylophone. Yeah, nice. Great, okay, let's try all of that again with a little, can we have a little crash at the end? <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Okay, from the top.
So that, that's, that's the idea now. You could go through, that's just four images of, how many have we got in that story? One, two, three, four.